Well, good morning. It's Wednesday and welcome to our daily prayers. And so as I come to prayer now, so I breathe slowly and I try to recenter my scattered senses upon the presence of God. So we pray. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. So we're at Luke 24 at verse 45. Jesus is talking to his disciples having risen. Then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them this is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. We talked yesterday about the message of the gospel. Because Jesus has risen, forgiveness of sins is possible. And you and I um, make it ours by realigning ourselves, repentance. And this gospel isn't something that's just concentrated to the Jewish nation. As you can see here, Jesus is clear it's going to be preached to all nations. And possibly that would have been a bit of a surprise to the disciples who were thinking, haven't you just come for Israel? And the answer is no, it's going to go far wider. And there are hints throughout the Old Testament of this. Uh, Israel was to be a light for all nations, for example. Um, I was bought a book by an Old Testament tutor I knew, and he's written about all the hints that God is going to include others within his plan, not just the people of Israel. It's a really good read, actually. And of course, we're the beneficiaries of us, those who don't come from a Jewish background. That very gospel has been shown and preached to people who have shown and preached it to us. But I think that going on and going wider message is still there. It's very easy to think this is about us in our church. But the gospel by its nature is for everyone. And so for even from where we are. God's plan, God's kingdom is to include others. So perhaps you might think of someone who doesn't yet know the love of God for themselves in their personal lives. And pray for them as together we pray for this town, that many more might know God's love. A moment, as you might like to pray for someone now. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.